Lion vs. Gorilla Who would win this fight in the wild Africa? The king of the jungle or the dangerous gorilla? An African lion and a gorilla have approximately the same weight at their adult age. But their ways of living and their behavior is very different from each other. Unlike some animal rivals, this tough pairing doesn't have an obvious outcome. Both the lion and the gorilla have their share of strengths, each of which is unique. Lions are commonly known as, kings of the jungle. People around the world consider the symbol of lions as the sign of strength and power. They are the world's second largest cat after the tiger. They are the social cats and live together in groups called pride. The characteristic silver hairs on the backs of some mountain gorillas indicate they are adult males. As extremely powerful, silverback gorillas live mostly in the jungles that surround African mountain ranges. To sustain a body that size, silverback gorillas need to eat a lot of food every day, and make sure they get all the right nutrients into their systems. Size and Description The lion is the only cat exhibiting sexual dimorphism, which means that male and female lions look different from each other and males are larger than females. The female lion has a head and body length of 160 to 184 centimeters, 5.3 to 6 feet, and a weight of 118 to 143 kilograms, 261 to 316 pounds. Male lions have a head and body length of 184 to 208 centimeters, 6 to 7 feet, weighing 186 to 225 kilograms, 411 to 496 pounds. Tail length 70 to 93 centimeters, 2.3 to 3 feet. Adult lions range in color from buff to gray to various shades of brown. Both males and females are powerful, muscular cats with rounded heads and ears. Only adult male lions display a brown, rust, or black mane, which extends down the neck and chest. Only males have dark tail tufts, which conceal tail bone spurs in some specimens. Gorilla is divided into two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. Gorillas are the largest living primates, reaching heights between 1.25 and 1.8 meters, weights between 100 and 270 kilograms, and arm spans up to 2.6 meters, depending on species and sex. They tend to live in troops, with the leader being called a silverback. The heaviest recorded wild gorilla is a 1.83 meters, 6 feet, silverback from Ambam, Cameroon, weighing 267 kilograms, 589 pound. The silverback's ears look small for its head. Males have a large bony crest on the tops of their skulls and back, which helps support their jaw muscles and teeth. The bony crest gives their heads a conical shape. Females have the same crest as well, but it is not as pronounced as it is in males. Silverbacks also are very hairy, they are the hairiest of all gorilla species. Their hair is long and thick, and helps to insulate them at high elevations. Silverbacks get their silver saddle at around 12 years old. Younger males who don't yet have the silver saddle are called, blackbacks. Range and Habitat Lions prefer grassland and savanna habitats in close proximity to water sources, such as rivers. They also prefer hunting in open areas, rather than densely packed forests. Lions are absent from all rainforest habitats in their range. Historically, lions could be found across the vast majority of Africa, but their current range has been restricted to a smattering of locations in Central and Southern Africa. Outside of Africa, lions used to be found from Greece all the way to India. Humans slowly decimated these populations over the centuries. Currently, only a small population of the Asiatic lion subspecies can be found in the Gur Forest National Park in western India. Gorillas have a patchy distribution. The range of the two species is separated by the Congo River and its tributaries. The western gorilla lives in west-central Africa, while the eastern gorilla lives in east-central Africa. Between the species, and even within the species, gorillas live in a variety of habitats and elevations. Gorilla habitat ranges from montane forest to swampland. Eastern gorillas inhabit montane and submontane forests between 650 and 4,000 meters. 2,130 and 13,120 feet, above sea level. Diet Lions are hypercarnivores, which means their diet consists of more than 70% meat. African lions prefer to hunt large ungulates, including zebra, African buffalo, gemsbok, giraffe, and wildebeest. 
They avoid very large and very small prey but will take domestic livestock. A single lion can take down prey twice its size. In prides, lionesses hunt cooperatively, stalking from more than one direction to capture fleeing animals. Lions kill either by strangling their prey or by enclosing its mouth and nostrils to suffocate it. Gorillas are primarily vegetarians, and feed along the edges of dense forests. However, they do eat whatever insects and small animals are on the leaves and stems they consume. Gorillas also will eat crops and rotting wood. Silverbacks consume 45 pounds of food every day. Behavior Lions spend much of their time resting, they are inactive for about 20 hours per day. Although lions can be active at any time, their activity generally peaks after dusk with a period of socializing, grooming, and defecating. Intermittent bursts of activity continue until dawn, when hunting most often takes place. They spend an average of 2 hours a day walking and 50 minutes eating. The lion is the most social of all wild felid species, living in groups of related individuals with their offspring. Such a group is called a pride. Groups of male lions are called coalitions. Females form the stable social unit in a pride and do not tolerate outside females. The majority of females remain in their birth prides while all males and some females will disperse. The average pride consists of around 15 lions, including several adult females and up to 4 males and their cubs of both sexes. Large prides, consisting of up to 30 individuals, have been observed. Mountain gorillas are highly social animals who live in family groups, referred to as troops, led and protected by a dominant silverback. Three to four sexually mature females, one or two younger male gorillas, and three to six juveniles and infants form this cohesive family. Subordinate silverbacks might also be part of a troop. They are most often the younger brothers or adult sons of the dominant silverback. A large mountain gorilla troop can exceed 20 individuals. Now, let's delve into the ultimate showdown, a lion versus a silverback gorilla. The silverback gorilla boasts formidable canines, not for flesh rending but for sheer intimidation. Yet, they pale in comparison to the predatory arsenal of its opponent, the male lion. Despite lacking lion-like claws, the gorilla's robust arms wield immense strength, capable of wielding makeshift weapons from the surrounding environment. Should a lion choose to confront the silverback head-on, it risks facing the gorilla's powerful throwing force, delivering potentially fatal blows. Unlike the lion, inherently a predator, the gorilla relies on brute strength rather than predatory instinct. However, the lion's predatory nature, coupled with its hunting prowess and fearsome claws, poses a formidable threat. Although the lion's stamina may be lacking, its stealthy approach and lethal precision make it a deadly adversary. Yet, the odds seem to favor the gorilla. With superior endurance and raw strength, the gorilla's resilience in battle surpasses that of the lion. Armed with makeshift weapons and a relentless will to fight, the silverback can outlast its feline opponent. While a lion may strive to land a decisive blow with its bite, the gorilla's endurance and combat prowess could turn the tide. As long as it evades the lion's lethal strikes and maintains its resilience, the silverback stands a strong chance of incapacitating its foe with powerful punches and throws. In this clash of titans, the gorilla emerges as the likely victor, its indomitable spirit in sheer strength proving too much for the lion to overcome. And you, do you have any other opinions? Please leave a comment to let me know. For now, goodbye and see you again.